I'm Simon Kinberg. I'm the writer and director of Dark Phoenix. This is a scene where Sophie Turner's character, Jean Grey, has gone to Michael Fassbender's character, Magneto, because she's lost control of herself, become destructive, even deadly to the people around her, and she goes to the person who she thinks can help her because he himself was dangerous and deadly and has essentially reformed his ways. And uh, she finds he can't help her, and in this scene, he sees just how dangerous and destructive she is, and he has to figure out if he's going to try to stop her or he's going to try to help her. And in fact, what it becomes is a, a face-off, a battle between these two people. We have a legal right to be here. This land was given to us by the U.S. government. We have no intention of taking it back. We're not here for you. We're looking for one of the X-Men, Jean Grey. And really what I wanted to do with this scene was create a tension-filled thriller scene. I wanted to create the tension that you see bubbling up inside of Jean and then create the tension between her and Michael. It's an action scene, ultimately, where you have two people who are flat-footed just raising their hands. Um, nobody's fighting, nobody's shooting guns, nobody's flying through the air. Um, you have your two characters fighting each other without ever touching each other or touching anyone or anything else. And I just thought that was a unique way to approach an action sequence between a character who has magnetic powers in the case of Michael Fassbender's character and a, a character who is extraordinarily powerful in her telekinesis in the case of Jean. And if you're going to have somebody who has magnetic powers and someone has telekinetic powers face off with each other, what better sort of weapon to be fighting over than a helicopter? Stop that. I said stop that right now! It's not me. It's me. We've seen in many movies going back to Indiana Jones and one of the Jurassic Park movies and so many sort of classic action movies um, have used the uh, propellers of a chopper to create jeopardy in a scene. And I just, I felt like, you know, having two choppers and really ultimately them facing off over one of them would create this, this real tension, this real danger, where you would just have, two, like you see, two people standing there with huge fans that are blowing wind on them. But in fact, when we shot it, I really wanted everything in this movie to feel as real and raw as humanly possible. And so we shot this with real helicopters, both those helicopters in this sequence. The first one that spins on the ground uh, was on a rig that spun on the ground. And the second one, this one in the air, is actually an extraordinary um, feat by our special effects team. They created two crane arms they could hold on a crane line, 4,000-pound um, chopper, which is what this is with the men in it, obviously without the propeller spinning close to our actors. One thing that doesn't happen to Magneto a lot in these movies is he doesn't get pushed around. Uh, and I wanted at the end of the sequence, even though he wins it, so to speak, um, I wanted Gene to be able to hurl him away. And so we put Michael on a wire um, and had a bunch of guys ratchet him back um, through the air. And then we obviously erased that wire in post. <laughs> 